So it's a rainy day here in Blacksburg, but that doesn't even matter because it's nationals time, baby. So yeah, we are gonna be heading to nationals today in actually just a couple hours. But at Nats, I'm gonna be racing three different events. I'm gonna be racing the 5K to begin with Saturday morning, tomorrow morning. And then I'm gonna be racing the 15 that afternoon. And then the following morning on Sunday, I'm gonna be racing the 800. I'm gonna get a quick shakeout run in though before I pack up and start to go, just so I get my legs loose for the races tomorrow. <laughs> So I got my three miles in, feeling pretty good for the race, hopefully it holds over the next day. But I still need to pack up clothes, toothbrush, stuff like that, so I'm fully prepared for a weekend away. So I need to save a bit of time packing, so let's introduce a bit of YouTube magic. Let's get all my clothes in. Three, two, one. Also, I definitely need my spikes. I need my spikes if I'm gonna race fast. Let's get those in the bag too. And that's quick packing with Tyler. So we're all ready to go. Let's go ahead and catch our van so that we don't miss our ride to Nats. So it ended up being about a six hour drive to Nationals in Miami of Ohio. And I don't wanna bore you with all those details, but we did take a quick dinner stop at Olive Garden. And I'm gonna get some spaghetti with meatballs and of course, I mean, a ton of breadsticks too. What you got? Spaghetti. Yeah, sub 15 food. Yeah, sub 14. After the dinner stop, we continued the rest of the way until we got to our hotel in Miami. After six exhausting hours in the car, we finally made it to Ohio. We're in our very sketchy hotel room for the night, but we have to wake up early tomorrow, so I'm gonna go to bed and I will see you tomorrow. And it is race day. It's a bit after 6 a.m. right now, so we're gonna go ahead, head over to the track and get ready to race. So we got to the track and I warmed up for the 5K, which was gonna be the event that I was most focused on during nationals. So there's the race and let me give you a little bit of background as we start off here. This race is seated anywhere from 1715 to about 18 flat. So it's actually a pretty slow race. I was seated at 1720 so I knew I was gonna be have to be at the top of this race working off that top pack and hopefully they would be able to pull me to a super fast time. I wanted to run about sub 17 20 ideally but if i broke 17 it would have been an amazing race so let's go ahead and see what happens over the next 12 laps so the first two laps i'm kind of sitting behind just slowly working my way up i was definitely towards the back in the first lap but the second i'm really starting to move up try to catch that top group as we keep moving towards the top and so here we come on the mile the mile is going to be almost spot on 520 which puts me at 1640 pace and at this point i am officially in the top group there's about five people in this group that's starting to form up and i just need to hang on the top of them in order to have a great race 520 is the fastest i've gone out in in a 5k so far this year so i'm hoping i can hold that so now by the time we come through five and a half laps i'm really in this top top group there's six of us now and it's time to work off them push the pace a little bit and keep fighting for these 80s we've been consistently hitting this entire race so now this is the 3k which is 60 percent done 
of the race and I'm gonna come through in a 10.04 which is actually kind of ridiculous because my fastest 3k to date is a 9.55 which I ran three weeks before this race so I was really concerned here I went out way too fast because I still have five laps to go but we're gonna try to hold on as much as we possibly can so now that we come in with a mile to go there's three of us really at the top my teammate Dave myself and this guy from Michigan and we're working great together still splitting those 80s so it's looking really good at this point with a mile to go I was like I have to break 17 I've set the goal of breaking 17 minutes in the 5k this is like the final stretch all of my season has been building up to this point and we're on pace i can run a 540 mile here and still break 17 so i knew i really had to push it here stick with dave and the michigan guy and we were gonna have a great race so now with three laps to go this is when you just need to focus in and kick in the 5k it's the last 25% of the race. My brother was yelling his head off at me. Let's go, boys! Come on! Four minutes! Four minutes is all you need! And just finish the race on a high note and possibly take the win as there are only three guys left in contention. And that 10th lap is really going to change everything. I'm actually able to break away from the pack a bit with 800 to go. And at this point, sub 17 isn't even a question. I know I'm going to be able to break 17. It's just by how much now and how hard I can kick to see how much I can PR by. So now with one lap left, I'm pushing hard. I'm giving it everything I have. My whole season has been building to this one single lap, and I just want to see how fast I can go. I ended up going through in about 1525. So as long as I close in sub 95, I'm going to be able to break 17, which I'm obviously going to be able to do, but it's time to go. I want to be able to win this race, break 17 by a good margin and just show off all of my training I put in over the past year to get to this point. So here we are in the last hundred meters. This is where it is time to kick and just go as hard as you can. Give it everything for 12, 20 seconds or so and just move as fast as you can burn off the race and there we go we are gonna finish and it's gonna be a fantastic time of which is something I didn't even think I could possibly run at the beginning of this race. So the 5k was great, but I still had to run the 1500 in a couple of hours. Okay, so I just raced the 5k and now I'm up for the 15. 5k was kind of painful, so this race I'm not taking it as seriously. Just gonna kind of sit in the back, work up if I can, see how I feel and just grind it out. So, I actually tore up my foot pretty bad here in the 5k too, and I have a lot of blisters, so I'm going to be racing in hopeless. This is going to be so bad. My legs hurt so much. Okay, so as you can probably tell, I definitely was not really ready for this 15. I was treating it a lot more like a workout. I wasn't wearing spikes. I wasn't really trying to run that fast. But I'm still going to do my best, see what I can pull out, because this is the only 1500 I'm going to race the entire season. So coming through the first lap, I'm uh, in dead last. Just going to hit you with that dab really fast. But I'm just chilling right now. It feels good. The pace honestly wasn't that fast. It's just my legs were so tired. I couldn't really push it that much. And then as we come around in the second lap, I'm going to move up a couple more spots. Just kind of doing what feels good. Not trying to overdo it too much. And just sitting even, trying my best to hold on and not hurt too much during this race. And now we're going into the final lap. I know I have like 70 seconds left, so I'm just gonna push it as hard as I possibly can here, get a fast last lap, and hopefully break five in the mile, convert it, because I really couldn't have lived it down if I did not break five. So here's the final 100. I'm actually gonna end up closing in a 69, which I'll take all day. I'm gonna run 440, which is a 458, 1600 convert it, which is something I was definitely happy with after that 5K. All right, let's go surprise him and see how he did. All right, post-race interview, how was it today, Fun. Tyler? I had a good time doing that 15. Um, hey, your last short. your last 400 was very impressive. I knew I had a bit left, like, but I don't know. Not used to running until that short.
So after my race, my brother was racing as well, and he threw down a 425 in the 15, and then after, we cooled down together. Cooling down here, absolutely uh, gas. The complete opposites, half marathon <laughs> and 800. Tomorrow. So my camera ended up dying towards the end of the meet there, but we made it back. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna go to bed. Back at the meet for day two. Kind of sucks. <laughs> Probably not racing. Yo, Tyler's kind of cute. But there's a half going on. And um, the eight will happen soon. I'm, again, probably not gonna race, but I'll get some footage from today. So I didn't end up racing the eight, but my brother Jacob did run the half marathon and he absolutely killed it. He ran 81 minutes for the half marathon, which puts him at 6.15 pace overall. Here's his interview after the race. Okay, so Jacob just had the race of his oh, life. <laughs> Red, literally the race of your life. I PR'd in, uh, in the 10K during that half. What was better, your 15 or your half? This, like, this, <laughs> was, a, this was an eight minute PR, and I didn't even PR in the 15. So. All right, good job. We'll expect, this is Jacob's closing race. We'll see him next year yeah. in, in the 8K. <laughs> And so that's basically gonna wrap it up for the video. The meet wasn't that much more exciting, didn't race at all, and basically just hung out, and then had that six hour drive home. That was nationals. I had a great race in the 5K, a decent race in the 15, and had one race just the past week. I ran the 3K, ran 9.43. Don't expect a video on that, but make sure to subscribe so you do catch race vlogs in the future. I'll see you guys soon with a brand new video. Uh, I have, oh, I have an idea.